Here is my new level 125 strength club build. We have the heavy large club plus 25. Heavy large club plus 25. Utilizes quick step because I'm a scrub like that right now. And I have the heavy club on here also with quick step. And then a heavy spike Kestis with Thunderbolt. Uh, rocking the lovely pumpkin helm. Tree Sentinel armor. Royal Remains gauntlets because, you know, my swapping skills are horrible. So I gotta just keep it on there so I get some HP regen on low health. Tree Sentinel Greaves. And then I use the Crimson Amber Medallion plus two. Swap it to the Blue Feathered Branch Sword when low HP. Uh, Bull Goat's Talisman, Claw Talisman, Urtree's favorite plus two, because I don't need the Great Jar Arsenal, so I can just use this. And here are the stats with uh, damage negation, all that. So it looks like that club looks fucking huge. So let's see how this build goes. Um, it's very similar to the Anchors and how it plays but there's some slight differences which I'm gonna go over and uh, I'm just gonna kinda of freestyle this recording so don't expect anything great <laughs> but uh, yeah so as you can see um, it's a great hammer and there's two of them so it's going to utilize jump attacks a lot just like the anchors do and then right there I switch to a uh, the smaller club, since it's pretty quick for a nice little finish. Got caught on that. I was uh, not playing well, it seems. <laughs> Getting hit by everything. Um, some of the delayed attacks uh, are really good at uh, catching, because I'm always expecting it to be a, a bit quicker. But anyways, so you'll see a lot of uh, jump attacks, quick step. Um, right there was a nice jump attack. And something I learned barely missed that one. Something I, I learned recently is that the large clubs actually have, I guess this, this goes with uh, all great hammers, they have a very good neutral R1 one-handed. So I've been trying to utilize that a bit more recently. But anyways, here comes out that little club. Smack him on the head, a little bonk, and he's done. He's done, son. So yeah. Um, what you'll notice is this is going to be similar gameplay to how I play the anchors, except I feel that these are actually better for duels. They do less damage, um, especially because they don't have any uh, piercing damage, so they don't get the counter hit bonus. But they do have a few different perks that the anchors do not, which I'll go over but they still do a lot of good damage on like jump attacks or the crouch out ones so as you saw right there it's got anti-air with the crouch attacks which is very good one difference between the large clubs and the uh, anchors is that the anchors since they're a great axe um, weapon when you do the crouch L1 and it does the same pound attack like that right there. Um, it does about 84 poise damage with each hit. So the first one, if they're rocking like 85 or more poise, they'll be able to tank your uh, first hit and then they can uh, accidental fan dagger throw right there, but that's okay. So if they have over like 85 or over, they can tank that first one, but the clubs, I should have just attacked this person with a buff because light rolling, getting that HP regen, really fucking annoying, like a little wizard too. But anyways, I digress. Um, so yeah, the clubs actually get like 104 poise damage that they do with each L1 on the crotch attacks. So that means that uh, I have a higher chance of stunning people so I can get uh, more to the second, more likely to have the second hit actually connect, which is really nice. All I'm trying to do is survive versus this fucking mage spamming it out because I'm like, they probably have low HP and they probably hit like a fucking truck. 
and uh, it's very difficult to hit them. I thought I might be able to get there in time, but no, clearly not. It's very difficult to hit them with these clubs. You know, light roll's tough on its own, but there you go. There's three, four hits, right? They don't, they don't expect the fourth or the fifth jump in a row. <laughs> I'm like, oh, he's low HP. I'll go ahead and I'll bonk him with this little hammer. It's going to be tough to hit this fucker. But anyways, yeah. So, the clubs, right? Um, so they do more poise damage than the anchors or great axes, which is really, really good. Um, the neutral R1 is actually quicker and better than the uh, the great axes as well. More poise damage also. And they actually... Bonk! Get wrecked, scrub. They actually have quite a significant amount of range over any of the great axes, especially the anchors. So... I, you'll be able to catch people with the uh, crouch L1 attacks or like right there the jump attacks a lot more than you would with great axes or anchors so uh, yeah so range um, more poise damage uh, and a, a pretty decent neutral R1 is uh, pretty important for uh, for um, some duels you know in 2v2s, the anchors, I think, are better because you can still utilize surprise attacks and get huge damage that, you know, you can't get on the on the clubs. They still do alright, but the anchor damage is just crazy. So, yeah. So, utilizing the quick step too, has been really nice because you can uh, quick step, backstab, you know, some of the heavier attacks or slower weapons. Um, I know... I don't know what I was doing right there, just trying to get a backstab apparently. Um, you'll see it in some of these clips up ahead that I can get the backstabs pretty quickly. Or easily, I should say. But yeah, so that's what I'm rocking. Also, since I don't get any counter damage with this... Yeah, bonk with the little club. Since I don't get any counter damage with these uh, clubs... It means I can't use the Spear Talisman, which allows me to have an extra Talisman slot, so I just go ahead and do the Bull Goat, as you saw earlier, and that puts me at more poise than what I would have um, when I'm running my Anchors, because I, I go more offense with my Anchors, so, yeah. You never expect people to hit uh, R1 two times in a row, or three times in a row, right? I really dislike how that... Uh, Howard can, on the running attack, catch my feet when I'm in the middle of a jump, but it is what it is. Lances and heavy thrusting swords do that as well. Very good at catching the air. Um, catching your feet in the air. And this guy right here, swapping helms, puts back on the pothead. And I'm, when I get close to them like that, right, I'm trying to bait them to roll away so I can roll catch them with the... Uh, jump L1, <laughs> jump L1, crouch L1, but right there, yeah, that guy, he didn't know what to do, so he was going for something big, this guy's cute, some little uh, duelist, I'm like, alright, I'll let him get that buff off, no big deal, and I'm like, alright, let's do it, he's got the same type of weapons as me, but those have such a shitty range, yeah, and he, uh, is taking that damage. He does not have much poise, obviously, with that armor setup since he's doing like a cosplay. But the little bonk to finish him is nice. Um, this guy right here, this match, I was like, okay. I was uh, typing in a stream at first, and so I was a second late getting my controller. Otherwise, I would have punished him. But, anyways, this guy, like so many people, spam their fucking weapon arts. Just spam it. That's all they do. And look at this. Look at this. I'm an idiot because I'm sitting there going, oh, he's not going to press that again. Oh, he's not going to press that again. And then, bam, I get caught over and over and over because I don't learn my fucking lesson. But, fortunately, this guy's uh, not a great player. And um, falls for the baits 
I'm low health, so he thinks he can finish me. I do big damage. He has very low vigor. Probably why he does so much damage. Um, has most of his stats in there, in different uh, attacking stats. This per person, people sucks. Um, another light rolling mage. Likes to do the teabagging squats, you know. Um, yeah, I'm like, all right, let's play. I don't know. I think he's trying to taunt me or something. Maybe he's just having fun. I don't know. Um, yeah, I should have gone in on that last one, but I was a little hesitant. You never know. Sometimes with these uh, these mages, shit just comes out of nowhere. That was poor on my part. Just taking all these unnecessary hits. Able to catch him with the uh, Assestus uh, running attack, which is pretty good. Utilizing clubs, large and regular clubs with the Cestus is a good combination, I think. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm like, okay, this guy, what are you doing? Take that bonk. You don't get no free buffs in here. Utilizing dual Vikes. Um, power stance, great spears are always um, a good solid setup, but this guy's not that great with them, fortunately for me. So, I'm not too worried about much. I can kind of <laughs> one hand bonk him to finish him. But uh, yeah, this guy's cute with a little frog head. I forget the name of what the people or the mask is called, but he's trying. And so, you know, he whoops out the warped axe, which is really cool, but unfortunately, not going to help him. Give him a little bow, because, you know, cute guy. So, yeah. This guy right here. I'm like, oh, is he going to do dual nuggies? But no, he's just rocking the single nuggie, which I'm like, okay. Oh, gets caught. Bam, gets caught. And gets caught. Unfortunate. I hate when uh, that happens. Not, not really. I kind of like it, but... <laughs> This guy gesturing, you know, it's like, what are you, what are you doing? Let's, let's fight already. Um, yeah, so, what did I do? I think this guy right here, I don't think he uh, does anything. I think he just kind of dies. <laughs> yeah, there's a hit. There's a hit stuck on the pillar. We've all been there. Stuck, <laughs> gets ran, hit by the uh, running L1. I think at this point he's just like, okay, I'm done. I give up. So I charge up that R2 and bonk him over the head. That's how we do over here. Hell Servant 23. Anyways, uh, yeah, victory. So I'm just playing tonight, you know. As you can see, some of the matches I play better and some, some I don't. You know, usually it's the ones where it's people that aren't too good and they spam something or they light roll mage that kind of give me the, mo the biggest challenge for tonight. But, uh... Nonetheless, you know, playing well. That was a good read, jump read on my part. This guy obviously wants the parry, so I'm looking for that. He didn't really have much of an answer, but he tried, so it's all good. Oh, we're back here with uh, You People Sucks. We're going to have a little teabag fun, you know. He's charging it up. That light roll, you know, people are uh, definitely using that a lot in the, the arena, but uh, it's all, um, it's okay. See, I got hit by that little hit. I didn't think I should, but I did, because uh, I'm bad. I don't know what he's doing. He's just kind of like charging attacks. I did a terrible jump there. And a stupid uh, just running. I thought right there. I thought my attack would go through and kill him, but apparently I was wrong. So yeah, uh, light roll. It's very difficult to hit with clubs. So, uh, I just try to bait them to actually attack and, you know, get my own little counter attack in. That's the, uh, only game plan I have with the clubs for that. <laughs> yeah, this guy, oh, I thought I would have hit him there, but I didn't. So I'm like, okay. Okay, this guy, you know, usually people that have, uh, the Moonlight Great Sword, I'm like, uh, not too good, but I'll just, like, jump around play with them a bit. This spell uh, casting is getting kind of annoying, but whatever. I'm like, oh shit, look at that. One hit. And it does like a fourth, maybe a fifth of my of my life. I'm like, okay, 
I don't want to get hit by anything. This guy's probably got like 80 int. But that means he's squishy, usually. So I'm like, I'll just bonk him, uh, you know, one of his casts. And uh, yeah, so it's just me trying to chase him. I'm like, all right. I was hoping that one would get you. I uh, panic rolled there. That was pretty bad on my part. And then, yeah, he uh, caught my jump attack with his rolling attack. Pretty impressive, right? But now I'm like, oh shit, I'm about to die. And I'm just like over jumping. I'm like, I need big damage. I haven't hit him once, so I need to get a jump attack in. Get a nice jump attack. He is like almost dead. I'm like, all right, let's go to the Cestus. And I meant to do Thunderbolt there, but I had it one-handed because I suck. So at this point, he's just spamming spells. I'm like, all right, do I want to just fist him or do I want to try to hit him with Thunderbolt? I'm like, eh, I'll just try to hit him with the Thunderbolt, you know? Make him lose his own casting game. But, uh, I'm having a difficult time with that. <laughs> he, uh, keeps getting close to me, not getting hit by the Thunderbolt. He's not running away. So I'm like, oh shit, I got stuck on that, uh, rubble, little pivot. So I'm like, alright, bro, let's do this. Let's do this. Miss, miss that, but, you know, I know the, the fists are a bit quicker than his, his little, whatever the fuck that spell's called. Yeah, Black Flame. I don't want to just give him free, you know, buff. So hit him out of there, break his guard, poor guy. Still alive, though, because, you know, Black Flame. And then I'm like, alright, let's do it, let's bonk you. So he's got his barricade shield, I'm like, alright, let's see, bam, counter attack. I was like, oh shit, I was not expecting a counter hit. Ooh, boom, counter hit again, what? Two hits, and I'm like, down. I was like, alright, quick step, back step. Out of the commission. That's how we do. But anyways. Anyways. I said that a lot. Um, yeah, this guy's respectful, so give him a little wave. I tried to give him a wave. There we go. Um, yeah, so utilizing these clubs, it's going to be a lot of jump attacks. If you delay the jump attack, it's actually pretty good at catching people. The crouch attacks, crouch L1, has really good anti-air, so you've seen me do it already and you know you'll see me do it again where like it just uh, gets people out of the air stops their attacks does high boy damage um, neutral R1's um, you know I think you'll see it here with this guy he's being pretty aggressive and I'm like alright he's gonna get in my face I'm going to uh, neutral R1 him because you know he thinks he can just like be up there you can't these clubs actually uh, hit very quick you know, you gotta respect it. Get a nice little quick step backstab in there. Didn't think I'd get it, but I did. So I'm like, alright, this guy wants to bonk. Let's bonk. Alright, alright. Bring it on, bring it on. The club theme's looking good. That right there. Having that poise for uh, flaming strike. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Get caught right there. It was stupid, because I'd just be an overly aggressive. Um, sometimes, you know, when you're trying to chase people, you play dumb. And I get the left, <laughs> the, the one-handed attack right there. Because, uh, I was bad at, uh, switching to two-hand. But, anyways, this is the last fight. And this guy seems to be a bit better than that Vikes user with the Power Stance Great Spears using the lances. So you always gotta be cautious, um, it does take a decent amount of skill to be really good with the lances or great spears but uh, yeah they're still a threat always so this guy's not respecting my space you know so as you saw I'm getting some neutral R1's in there um, and I'm like okay yeah I, uh, I want to hit you a little bit more he's uh, you know can out damage me with that piercing counter damage so gotta be cautious here he might be able to even one shot me on the counter hit so you gotta be a little bit cautious crouch attack is good he screws up there I think but I'm not able to capitalize jump attacks aren't gonna be good and yeah get him with one attack I'm like alright 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 should I switch to the small club no I'll, I'll just try to finish him and I hit him with one club not the other Bam. And it's over. 
And that's my build. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.